Hey, what's happening, everybody? It is Sunday. Time for another episode of Selling Past Your Expiration Date, Being Thrifty or 50. I'm your one host, Jay. I'm Peg. Hi, gang. Hope you had a nice weekend. It what's was shaking, gorgeous, everybody? Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous in Ohio. <laughs> All right, hang on. Hang on. I, I wasn't ready with your crap. I wasn't ready with your okay. weather. Hold on. Okay. Uh, there we go. There's the weather. And I got to go grab something. So go ahead and tell us about the All weather. Right. Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, that's not the most exciting topic, everyone I know. But, you know, in Ohio, it, it is. It was absolutely beautiful. It couldn't have been better. Um, we had a real hot, humid Friday. Um, but uh, Saturday and today, no humidity, 75 degrees, full sunshine, absolutely gorgeous. And we are finally done with our entire uh, decorate, decorating of our yard because, you know, we're all Hawaiian outdoors. Just in time for winter. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> And it's all done, and it looks so pretty. And we sat out on the deck last night, and Mommy made a potted parrot and a, and a painkiller for Dad. And we just had the most most beautiful evening just because our weather was finally good. But we might be hotter than you on Tuesday. Oh, yeah. Tuesday, we are cold. Old. Oh, you're kidding. We're going to be 93. Yeah, our winds came in, and uh, so it's only 84. Oh, no, Tuesday, we're, uh, tomorrow's 80. Tomorrow, we might not break back into the 80s, but Tuesday yeah. we'll be back to 89. So, uh, well, we're going to beat you on Tuesday. <laughs> yeah. But, but what you don't always see in Ohio <laughs> is a sunshine, you know, on our forecast. Oh, well, that changed already. I, I was supposed to see sun. On, well, it is quite, quite sunny. All right. We, we, usually we see tons and tons of rain, but I think we've gone past that peak, everybody. So, I'm I'm happy because it's it's nice to be outdoors. <laughs> That's for sure. That's for sure. And it, it, it was fun with Dad and I. We got to some great garage sales. Uh, That's when I went for you guys this week. We went to uh, one area that was a community garage sale. So we hit like between fifteen and twenty homes, and uh, and and made out really really well. And um, so that was you know so that was good. Well, yeah. Good to see everybody in the chat. How is everybody doing? How's your weekend? How's your sales? Mine are insane. They have not since since the lockdown, and even though parts of the country are getting back to normal, normal ish, new normal, uh, my sales have not stopped. Like it's just my assistant's gonna be like, yeah, yeah, these Monday mornings. <laughs> I mean, right now, I, I think I got like twenty two packages going out, and wow. uh, it's over a thousand dollars in sales just from this weekend. So, look, mm -hmm. I always say this: I don't sell anything I haven't taught you about. So, yep. follow me. Look at what I'm selling. Go find those things. I, you know, I've always taught everything I know and everything I sell. So uh, I was talking to Nadine, who's in the chat, hi, Nay, earlier. And she goes, geez, what'd you sell? You've already done $1,000 this week. And I go, normal stuff, CDs, records, tiki mugs, uh, a purse, some clothes. I mean, just the stuff yeah. that I always, I always sell. So Yeah. Yeah, I was quiet uh, the, the, this week uh, considering you know what I've been doing. So it was a quiet week for us. Oh, yes, any, me. Any, uh, any tiki mugs, Becky? Yeah, Beck, we got there late. We 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 did go to Hartfield yesterday, um, but it was a last minute thought. We went out and hit a couple of uh, garage sales in the morning, and they were awful. Didn't get a darn thing. And we were halfway to Hartfield, so we said, "Let's go down." And I I, I bought one thing. So I, you know, being, being late at Hartfield is not the way to go. <laughs> All right, so me asking Becky if she saw any tiki mugs, which I knew the answer. Sad, no tiki yeah. mugs. Yeah. Because let's talk about listing on Etsy, and I can change our little JPEG to, oh, look at that. Look how cute that oh, is. Look how, look how <laughs> cute. I even got two. Look at that. I like okay, so let's talk about listing on Etsy today, because although we've talked about it in the past, and it's relatively easy to list on it, mom hadn't listed on it yet. So yeah. I said, hey, go practice, go list some things, and then we'll do a live one. Uh, because there is one thing that mom completely skipped on her first listing without uh, adult supervision. Yep. Uh, and so it's something you don't want to skip. And so that's what we're going to talk about today. So I'm going to list one and then mom's going to list one. And then we will uh, move on. So let me pop this off for a second. Oops. Or make it bigger. There we go. Okay. So here's what you think of when you think of a tiki mug. For those of you who are not uh, in the tiki world like mom and I. You know, this is pretty much it. Here's a tiki. It's a mug. Pretty. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Here is a much bigger mug. Uh, I'm going to do this. Let me get this. Wow. So this mug is huge. 
and it doesn't look like a tiki at all. So let's talk about this mug, and then we'll talk about how to list it, and then we'll talk about how much it's worth. Here's my tiki mug for tonight. I'm eating out of Blanche or drinking nice. out of Nice. <laughs> oh, nice. April found their first tiki mug on Saturday at a thrift store in the vase Ooh. section. Hey, April, if you and I have chatted on Facebook, or if you can go over there, uh, send me a picture of it, would you? I'd love to see what you found. All right. So, um, yeah, I got to move this back here. Okay, so this isn't a tiki, so to speak. I mean, it is a tiki mug, but it is definitely not a tiki. This is a drum or a representation of a drum. And it's a representation of what's called a PNG drum. And PNG stands for Papua New Guinea. So here are your Papua New Guinea drums. And they kind of look like that. As you can see, the shape that they're going for with this tiki mug. So you might think, hmm, the hell's Papua New Guinea, and should I know about it? So let's uh, get rid of that. So Papua New Guinea is right down here. It's right above Australia. All these little dots right here are sitting on Hawaii. Here is uh, Arizona. And uh, if you might think, wait a minute, how is that part of the tiki world? So here is the Polynesian Triangle, and then it also uh, encompasses Micronesia and Melanesia, and uh, Papua New Guinea is in Melanesia. So these are all places that have tiki's, and as you can see to the far right, it stretches all the way out to Easter Island, and uh, tiki's are all different. So Hawaiian tiki's are obviously way different than Easter Island tiki's that are different than Papua New Guinea tiki's, but they all play a part, and this is important, and the reason you're getting this bonus lesson tonight is you're going to need all these bonus keywords in your Etsy listing. <laughs> cool. All right. Oh, I didn't want to show that yet. I hope you didn't see that. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, you know, this was not about setting up, you know, setting up is like any other thing. You got to plug in your information, who you are, all that, all that, you know, good stuff. And now we're going to list, uh, first things first is pictures. So, uh, let me, oops, let's, uh, make sure all my pictures are get over here. All my pictures are ready. Yep. Okay, cool. Okay. So we're gonna click on add a photo and <clears throat> downloads okay so one and you get 10 photos one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten okay so here they come and of course they, they and they tell you they want your first one to be you know what's your you know your your best eye-catching photo uh etsy is a little bit different than ebay they kind of like when you theme your stuff out, when you got it like a cool background or something. So they're not telling you, just have a white background. They actually like it when you have a little bit of a theme. So of course I always use this little like bamboo background for my mugs. And you can adjust your thumbnail right here uh, by zooming uh, in or out. Moving okay, it I around. I like that, Jason. Yeah, you know I could do that. Yep. <laughs> so my, my picture was pretty much where I wanted it for the thumbnail, so that's good. Now I could go a little artsy and zoom into the handle because the, the handle's a bird. That's a bird. You know, I could do a little artsy thing there if I wanted to, uh, but we'll just leave it as is. And then here's our title. And so this mug is from, do you know where this mug's from? Yeah, what you just said, New Guinea, didn't you? Well, no, that's the representation of a drum oh, from New Guinea. Oh, I, I do not know where it's from. Where would you have drank out of this mug is my question. You would not have drank out of it in Papua New Guinea. Oh, no, no, no. Uh, maybe. Um, Oh, no, wait a minute. Because I have a drum one. Stephen Crane drum, drum one I have, don't I? Maybe. Yeah. Trader Vicks, I don't know. No, I'm no, sad no. you didn't know. Oh I, oh, I didn't know that, honey. Did not know that. All right, so this is from the Mai Kai. Uh -huh. And so we are going to put in Mai Kai uh, PNG drum tiki mug. That's a great mug. Now, the big thing is it's made by Odagiri Mercantile Company, or OMC. And the sticker is still on it. Now, these stickers, the glue on these stickers had to be the most amazing glue ever because this mug's like 60 years old, 50 years I know. old. It, it, it blows my mind. When and you when it. you find OMC mugs, 80% of them still have their sticker. I'm like, man, the glue back then had to be amazing on stickers. All right. Uh, uh, Mike Kai PNG drum tiki mug. Um, uh, Otagiri. 
Put to here. Yep. Mercantile company sticker. I'm going to put sticker because collectors like the sticker. So if I had choices between two mugs and one had a sticker and one didn't have a sticker, I definitely want the sticker. And as uh, we, we actually have two of these, so we're trying to decide which one we liked and we were kind of looking at the sticker. And that's what we're only thing we're looking at, which sticker is better. All right. Uh, all right, so as you can see, we have a pretty long title. Now, sometimes, not always, but sometimes things are just what they are. So I could probably stretch it out and do uh, Papua New Guinea. Papua New Guinea. I don't think I spelled that right. So you do get a nice, uh, oops, you do get a nice long title like you do on eBay. I spelled it right? Oh, I misspelled two words. Good, good job, Jay. No, you you're advertising. There you go. Okay. I know, I know, I know. Okay. <laughs> All right, there we go. So that's a pretty good title. I'm happy with that. And then about this listing, who made it? Your choices are yourself, if you're making like masks or uh, um, junk journals and stuff like that, or if you have a company that makes stuff or another company. Obviously, I am not Odegiri Mercantile Company, so they made it. What is it? A finished product or a supplier tool to make things? Is obviously a finished product. When was it made? Uh, I'm going to put this around the 60s. Uh, I don't know exactly, but that, that's a on this is a good guess. And then we're going to do a uh, uh, category tiki mug and see what they say for a category. All right, there you go. So I typed in tiki mug. We could go fine art ceramics. Or we could go home and living, kitchen and dining, drink and barware, drinkware and mugs. I'll put it right there. All right. Materials. Because I put it in mugs, they said, well, here's what the majority of the mugs are made for. Pick. So obviously this is ceramic. Uh, I, I'm not too worried about graphic on this. Capacity. I, I could have ounces, but I don't have a uh, measuring thing right here. Uh, but this one does have a handle. It is not insulated. It is definitely not dishwasher safe. For sure not microwave safe. No enamel. And the primary color is definitely going to be brown. Now you can do a secondary color. I would say black's probably our secondary color. And there you go. This is not a holiday. Not really an occasion. Uh, so here's your options for renewals. It's 20 cents and the listing lasts for four months. So you're going to do automatic if you want to sit there for a while, or you could do it manual. Uh, so after the four months, you would have to relist it if you want to. Got that, Ma? Got it. I just left it on the automatic. Okay. Yeah. All right. And it's either a physical product or a digital product. Well, this is definitely not digital, so we're physical. All right. So I'm just going to write a little quick blurb. Vintage. A tiki mug from the Maikai. Uh, uh, from the Maikai bar. Would you say in Fort Lauderdale, Florida? Would you be there? Yeah, hang tight, hang tight. Oh, okay, sorry. Uh, from the uh, Maikai bar. Uh, uh, um, juice, good gosh. It's the uh, is it the Molokai Lounge. I got drank there a thousand times. Hold on. Uh, Maikai... Molokai. Molokai bar, yep. Okay. From the, the Maikai bar of the Molokai. Uh, made by OMC. The original sticker is still on the bottom. And we'll put in some measurements here. This is a tall mug. Nine inches tall. Uh, oop. Jeez. Do not drop your measuring tape on your keyboard. Mug is nine inches, which is 23 centimeters. And at the widest point, we're four inches or 10 centimeters. Uh, width, four inches or 10 centimeters. Uh, uh, with handle. And that's about it. You know, when people are buying these kind of collectibles, it's not like they're just lollygagging. You know, if you were just looking for a, 
you know, you're looking for a cool t-shirt. You might just be looking around for whatever. Mm -hmm. But if you're looking for the vintage Mike High mug, you don't need to really, you know, uh, go crazy. Okay, so here is where mom just totally skipped when she was practicing. These are the tags. These are uh, unseen, uh, but these are the things that help drive people to your listing. So you got to think of things. So uh, Papua New Guinea is in Melanesia. So I wrote, I wrote my tags out already, so I knew where I was going to put. Okay, so Papua New Guinea is in Melanesia. Melan Oops. Melanesia. Uh, it's from a tiki bar, which we haven't really said tiki bar anywhere. So we'll yeah. do that. And it's located in Fort Lauderdale. And that's in Florida. So just so everyone knows, every time you write one, just hit your enter button and then you'll go right to the next one. Correct? Yeah. And at the mic, I have a full Polynesian show. So we're going to do Polynesian show. Mm -hmm. Uh, it, it says it resembles a drum. The, the drum is carved out of wood. So we're going to put wood carving. Uh, we already got ceramic. The cocktails at the uh, Maikai are based from down the beachcomber, so we'll put down the beachcomber in here. Oh, well, you got So you got to really think outside the box here. Yep. Yeah. Um, and then the Maikai has gardens in the back, so we'll put some. We'll put gardens in, and then we haven't put cocktails in anywhere yet. And there is a tiki event that happens every year at the Maikai called the Hukilau. All right. And we still had three left. So I, I, I realize I already covered a couple of these. Um, well, I don't think we have Hawaii, Hawaii in there anywhere. We'll throw Hawaii in. There we go. That, that's, that's a good amount of them. So uh, that's what you want to use. And this is where you can get a little creative, you know, so you can get more eyes on your stuff. So think about it from that standpoint. I wouldn't write all these words in the description, but on, on things that can do tags, uh, Depop does tags, uh, Makari does three tags, Etsy does uh, 14 or whatever it was, 13. So this is where you can be creative and you can put uh, uh, your different things in there. So John says you can put a comma between each one. I just wanted to show it, John, you know, just make it uh, easy. Uh, two typos. Oops, yep, four inch. Thank you, Tina. I think I write my worst listings when I'm doing them live for everybody. Because <laughs> everybody's watching. <laughs> and then I mistyped uh, Tiki Mug? Where? Oh, 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 I see. Uh, I misspelled Fort Lauderdale. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. All uh -huh. right, cool. Oops, I just clicked the wrong one. All right, and we'll put the Florida back. All right, cool. And, okay, so our price. Now, I'm hoping everybody didn't see their screen. What do you think that's worth? That's got to be up there. Because I've never even seen that one from the Maikai, Jason. So I'd, I'd say you're, you're talking in the hundreds. That'd be my guess. Now, Nellie's impressed. I knew what a junk journal is. I know things. I know things. <laughs> All right. So Angelique guesses 75. Uh -huh. That's a good guess. Yeah. Mary guesses 125. A better guess. Million dollars. I don't <laughs> think so. Although would be nice. Yes. <laughs> All right. You'll be shocked to know that at $300, Kelly's not even halfway there. So here's what the last one sold for, $650. And I sourced this on eBay a little while ago for way less than that. So uh, luckily, a buddy of mine said, hey, I don't got any money right now, but I know, I'm guessing you do buy this because you can flip it. I said, oh, yeah, you're right. All right. So $650 bucks is what it sold for last time. And... Uh, we're going to go a little bit higher right now because no one has one. Yeah. And this is to show you why I like to show you guys to list and find Tiki mugs, Becky, right. uh, because look at the money. Look at the <laughs> money when you when you find the right ones. Okay, so I'm going to do $6.99. I got one. I don't need any variations. Now, shipping used to be a little bit um, crappier, <laughs> but it's pretty good now. So nowadays, uh, calculate the shipping prices for you. 
let them calculate it's pretty good. So you plug in your zip code. Now you could do your own. You could do a flat rate like we kind of do on eBay. Uh, but uh, I'm good with just letting them calculate it. So uh, I'm going to put in my processing time of one business day. I will ship United States and worldwide. And it's already set up for six uh, mail classes. So we have US Priority, Priority Express, uh, first class, which of course this one, when I plug in the weight, won't won't qualify for international priority, express international, and first class priority. All right, so my question is then: so when you go for the international, they they will know by the how much my item weighs. Yes. Okay. All right. All right. So you can put a handling fee in. Some people do. I don't. I'm just you know uh, I'm good. I've priced it appropriately. All right. So. Uh, Item weight, is, and it says item one package. I'm putting in the full weight when package. So this this mug's just about two pounds. So we're going to be a three pound package. It's going to be approximately a, a fourteen. Oops, not a hundred forty one. <laughs> fourteen by twelve by let's say eight. Now, don't guess. I'm just guessing right now because I did I forgot the packet ahead of time. Uh, but it's saying, hey, looks like it'll cost sixteen ninety to go to Chicago. Yep, sounds about right. And then Australia. $43. Yep. Sounds about right. So I'm cool. I'm good. All right. And that's it. Publish. And it's going to say, uh, don't forget, we're going to charge you 20 cents. I'm like, okay, that's cool. Publish. Pachoo. Now here's what I want to uh, tell you is uh, I list common vintage mugs, uh, tiki mugs on Etsy and they sell for way more money than they do on eBay. So you can take a, a vintage, like generic ish type, tiki bowl that you would get like 10 bucks on ebay you get 20 bucks on etsy so i always put my stuff like that on etsy now this one later on tonight i will cross post to ebay because when you have a 700 dollars mug put it everywhere right did i do materials you mean what it's made of because i did yep sell two a week and pay the bills that's right See, now, if you weren't excited about Tiki Mugs before, get excited. <laughs> Jason, where'd you find those? Oh, you, you bought it online, you said. Yeah, yeah. A friend said, hey, someone's selling this way too cheap right now. Uh -huh. And I've been sitting on it for a while because the price did, um, what the next one that sold after this one, the one I bought, was up for mine, but it, it always should be in the $600 range. So I've just been sitting. And last week I saw one sell for six fifty. I'm like, ooh, now's the time to list. Then we thought about this show. I'm like, oh, perfect. I will list on this show. All right, beauty. Guess who's up? Oh boy. Okay. So everybody, you got to go up in this right hand corner where it says to add a listing, and we'll click on that. And now I'm going to add my photos. So I got to go to my photos, and I might have to switch. Okay, we are selling a Moo, a vintage Moo. And I want to make sure I go with my opening shot here, Jay. Okay, and then put them you get in. you can uh, you can adjust them. That's those okay. That one, I think that's yeah. As mom, I said, uh, hey, uh, pull out one of your vintage mugs that you're selling. <laughs> she said, I don't have any. I'm like, oh, I have them, but not to sell. <laughs> well, yeah, I'm like, you don't have no duplicates, mm -hmm. and she said, no. <laughs> I that said, oh, okay. But I did think about it later, but it's not an exciting duplicate. I have a bunch of Kahiki mugs, you know, from the Kahiki in Columbus. So, you know. All right. So my my now can you can you move on as the as the pictures are loading, I assume? Uh yeah. Okay. Yeah, it is impossible to find Etsy solds. If you if you Google search a specific item, you might find a link to a finished Etsy listing, but you can't just you go keep typing on go ahead. You can't yeah, yeah. just see it on Etsy like you could on eBay. <clears throat> yeah, Nay was saying that uh, patterns did much better on Etsy than eBay. Uh, Makari, you can't, you, you're right. Makari's, you can't adjust the photos. However, Lori, I learned after that show that uh, Melissa, one of the admins in the thrifting board, said you can on the app. So I'm like, what the heck? You can adjust pictures on the app, but not on the website. That's stupid. Nice. Jim sold the salt and pepper shaker on Etsy for 135 bucks. Only been up for a couple of days. Yes, Etsy is vintage and homemade only, although people try and stretch that all the time. Okay, so uh, 
Let's go back up and we're going to adjust your thumbnail a smidge, Ma. Okay. There we go. Because what happened here is, uh, so what I would do is let's zoom in a little bit and bring it down a little bit. So you're not going to show the full length of this dress in the first picture. So well, am I going yep. in with the plus sign? Yep. Right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Now you could be just dragging that little round circle, by the way. Oh, okay. Did not know that. Yeah. Okay. Right. Now stop. Yeah. Now go ahead and click on the picture and then just drag it back over and down a little bit. There you so go. You have another one of those pictures, but it was good to show mom. Yeah. Yep. So yeah. go ahead and save. Okay. Hey. There we go. Tiki, well, these tiki mugs are vintage, Ann. Vintage is twenty years or older. But but m m a lot of the modern ones are handmade. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So mom did her uh, title, and I would actually spell out small, medium. Uh, okay. I think, I think you have the space for it. All right, but, but I can leave the hyphen in there, right? Yeah, just a uh, small space hyphen, space medium. Is that okay like that? Uh, yeah. Okay, all right. Uh, let's see, what is it? No, is put it a space, small space slash oh. space. Okay, you have to do it that way, huh? Yep, so, so because if you don't, small slash medium became one word. I see, okay, that's good to know. All right, so uh, another company made it, finished product. When was it made? This is probably, is there a care tag on it? No, not on this one. No. Nope. Okay, so then we'll, then we'll go with the 60s on this. Okay. 1960s, okay. This item is vintage. Okay. Um And then uh, put in Mumu and see if it recognizes, I'm guessing it's going to recognize the word Mumu. Mumu and dresses. So I can click on that. Right? Yep, right. yep, yep, yep. Okay. Choose a scale. Now that's a okay. challenge. Okay. Now, what does he mean? Choose a scale. U.S. Uh, so what do I do here? Just U.S. women's numeric? Well, is it a number or is it a. You no. wrote small medium. Is it a number? Oh, no. It's, it's okay. Well, then you can't go. Okay, so U.S. Women's Letter or not? Yeah, yeah, okay. we can't see that. Yeah, okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. And then choose the size, and then it's, well, it's a small medium, so how do I do that? They're only giving me a chance well, to. Pick, just pick one. Okay, small. Okay, I can't pick another one, can I? No. <laughs> okay, the primary color, oh boy, kind of reddish, I guess. Yep, yep, red for sure. Yeah. Okay, secondary color, yeah. orange. Okay. Now, you don't have to do secondary color, but if you got one. Choose dress style. Now, do they give me, they don't give, okay. All right, so, I mean, this is just a loose-fitting dress. So, um, what if there's not one that matches? Well, you're going to have to. Pick something. So you didn't, I, I, and I didn't realize this. So this is on me. You didn't share screen properly, so we can't see the drop downs. Oh, I'm so, so read us the options. Oh well, there's. Let's see. Well, it's not a flapper, Captain. Not really. Yeah, sure. I, yeah. In this case, uh, for a my, for a, Okay. Yeah. Uh, that's probably the clothes. Then the next thing says clothing style. Athletic menswear, military, not kind of preppy. Uh, yeah. It's, mm, yeah, there's nothing here for that either. Uh, athletic, boho, formal, gothic, Harajuku, Lolita, menswear, military, mod, pageant, pin, oh, pin up and rockabilly? Yeah, that's close enough. I like it. Close enough. Okay. All right. Pattern. Oh, my God. Um, and someone asked about store names. Yeah. I mean, if you can keep your store name the same from your Amazon store to your eBay store to your Mercari store to your Poshmark store to your Etsy store, absolutely. It makes for, you know, uh, uh, better for your, you know, customers to find you. Well, I guess I'll have to say floral, Jason. I, there's nothing. Uh, no, nah, it's more geometric because of the uh, tapa. Oh, because of the tapa, right? Okay. Yep. All right, we'll do that. All right. Now, neckline is a scoop neck. Do they give me that as a as a, yes? They do. Okay. Yeah, and as you can see, thanks to Lori pointing out, they all say optional, but yeah, 
as with any product, the more you can put in, like, look, the Mai Kai mug is a rare piece. People will find it. But if you're going to list a vintage uh, Moo Moo, there's going to be a lot on uh, Etsy. So you yeah. really got to make sure you drill it down. So people who are looking. Uh, so if I type in Moo Moo right now, there's 1,302 results. So okay. somehow you got to stick out in those 1,302 results. No, All right. I'm so I, I wouldn't worry about silhouette, but I would do hem length. Okay, hem length. Is which is going to be ankle, ankle or floor or whatever your option is there. What they got here? Well, uh, they do have both, so I would do, I'll do ankle. Okay. Sleeve length and then is, sleeve length is uh, short or cap, depending on what they have. Yeah, they just have short here. Okay. Pockets, no. Okay. And that's important because some ladies, and I'm sure some ladies yeah. in the chat like pockets. So make sure you you definitely, even though it says optional, if you're doing a dress, make sure for sure you're going to check off yes or no for optional. Occasion, yeah. Most of the time they don't have these here. So what? All right. what yeah. Skip it. Yeah, we'll just scroll it. on down. Okay. All right. All right. So, so I uh, so mom left it automatic, and obviously it's a physical prop. Go ahead and start typing your description. All right, mom. I'll go ahead and do that. All right. So as you can see, everybody, based on these two listings, it's not real hard. Um, I, I, you know, of all the places to list, eBay is definitely the oldest. And, and here's why, uh, oldest, hardest. And here's why. So I kind of equate it to a casino that's been in Vegas for 50 years. So when they built that casino 50 years ago, it was this little tiny place. And then they added this tower and then this tower. And then when you go in for a liquidation sale, like I've been in many, the place is a maze and it's, it's screwy and it's, you got to go here and there. And I, I went to this room once and then I came back the next week and I couldn't find that room again. eBay is the same way because it's been around so long when it got built. It, it was obviously way more bare bones in the 90s. And so they just kind of added on. So there's like these legacy things that are still stuck there. So new things like Macari and Posh and Depop, they're really slender and easy to maneuver through it. And Etsy too, for the most part. So you know, if you can list on eBay, you can list on any platform. The rest are pretty, pretty simple. And if you look, you, you don't see this on eBay, but if you look right here, uh, it's explained to you what holiday is. It's explained to you what the renewal options are. It's telling you how to write your description. If you go back to the original pictures, uh, let, me see if I, let me see if I can show that real quick. Uh, it's, it's, it gives you all kinds of little tips and tricks uh, to... Um, for your photo. So if you're new at this, it's giving you some jumping off points. Come on. Add a listing. All right. So I'm gonna take mom off for a second and put me back up here. All right. So it's telling you right here, photos of the 10 photos to show your items, most important qualities, use natural light, no flash, include a common object for scale, show the item being held, worn or used, shoot against a clean, simple background. And then it tells you, here's your primary photo. Make sure to get every angle. You want details in use, size and scale. So they really help you walk you through it. And, and that's where if you can list on eBay, you can list anywhere. Yeah, they sure have gotten away from the keep it simple. But that's what happens when you're around for 25 years when you're around from before there was even really graphics and pictures it like the casino they started so tiny and small and then 50 years later they got a tower that's 50 stories another tower that's 30 stories and they got to keep adding on to the original and then it's just this maze of a mess to the average person it doesn't look like a maze of a mess but when you're behind the scenes in the walls underground it's crazy in there it's crazy awesome okay i'm done with my description if you want to see if i missed anything important i think you spelled my kai wrong i did m-a-i oh i sure did <laughs> and oddly enough we both had things that had my kai in it that wasn't yeah. a plan no certainly wasn't okay so let's go okay. down to your tags okay and i got some that i thought of let's think of what you thought of and and also everyone in the chat what tags do you think would be good for this dress now let me uh ba -ba -ba -ba, let me show you the dress hold on Okay. Let me show you the dress so mom can stay there. But uh, go ahead, mom. Start adding some a couple tags. Okay. All right. I will. Whatever, whatever now, you I, think. My question is, do you repeat some of the things you had in your title? No, you don't, you don't need to. Don't need to. Okay. That's what I wasn't too sure about. Okie dokie. All right. All right. So while mom's doing that, here's the dress again. 
Let me, let me zoom in on so you can see it really good. All right, so here's the dress we are working with. Are the rate are the rates comparable to eBay? Yeah, everybody's in that range. Uh, Macari is the best. Macari is the cheapest at ten percent. Everybody else is in the range. You know, you're looking at anywhere from like, well, on the low end, Macari is ten percent. The you know ten to sixteen percent, depending on your platform, and depending on the you know if you're using things like promoted listings and stuff, it all depends. Mm. Oh, I like I. Uh, so close at Aloha Friday. I love that. I didn't even write that one down. I never even thought of that one. That's a real good one. I'm going to put yeah. that in now. Right. Mom's got tiki and pineapples and tab print and drums in Polynesia, Polynesian, Hawaiian. Uh, cap sleeves, you already have that in your description. You don't need it again. Okay. So here's some ones I thought of, but Aloha Friday should definitely be one of them. Uh -huh. If you don't know, uh, it is not a bark cloth dress, so we're definitely not going to be using bark cloth. If you don't know, uh, Hawaiian shirts are not called Hawaiian shirts in Hawaii. It's kind of like going to China. You don't say, hey, where's the Chinese food restaurant? You just say, where's the restaurant? So same thing, Hawaiian uh, shirts and dresses in Hawaii are called Aloha wear. So they have Aloha Fridays. All right. So I also wrote down summer. Oh. Uh, do you have, okay, you already got luau. So we, we got, and we picked caftan as the shape. Uh, you had tapa print somewhere already? Uh, in your title, maybe? Um, let me look. Let me look. Is it in the title? No, I did not. I just okay. Uh, so, so, uh, so this, uh, the these squiggly lines here that's tap and print. So, that's tapa. All right. Okay. And then, oh, here, I'm, I'm gonna drop, some, I'm gonna drop some Hawaiian uh knowledge on you. All right, type this in P A H U. P A H U. What, what is that? I know that word, Jason. Yeah, let's see if anyone knows that word. Yeah, I wanted to know that. No. All right. So while we were wondering if anyone knows what a pahu means, uh, I put in house dress. Uh huh. What about luau? Uh, you already had it. Oh, did I have it in, in your there? description? Perfect for your next luau. Oh, yeah, yeah, but yeah. I did put in huki lao because, oh. besides being a tiki event, if you don't know, a huki lao is a Hawaiian celebration where you go fishing and then you have your luau. So the huki lao is the whole process. So huki lao is another good word. All right, we got three left. Uh, oh, I like floral, although very kind of generic. I do oh. like it. <clears throat> All right, what else we got? Anything more? You know, Jason, uh, there's, there's oh, uh, so it's a tiki mask. So I would definitely put mask in too. Okay, and there's also tiki torch here. Oh yeah, then I put yeah. tiki put okay. torches in too. Mask and then tiki torch. All right, so ding ding ding. Lillian, did you know? Yep, that's the name for the Hawaiian drum. Oh no, so we're gonna we're with that. We will catch the the nerds, and I say that very lovingly because I am one. But the average person won't know that pahu is a Hawaiian drum, that like the yeah. drum that's on this dress. But a Hawaiian a Hawaiian person and or a tiki nerd would know that for sure. So here's where you're getting in some bonus tags that you probably wouldn't have thought of off the top of your head. But that's why we're doing this. Uh, I would not use mumu because anyone who wears it pretty much knows how to spell it. So. All right, where are we at? Uh, okay. All 13 use. Okay, cool. Scroll yeah. on down. All right, now material, do I put that cotton or just let it go? Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Put in cotton, okay. Yep. All right, all right, pricing. All right, so, so since they seem to get more money here, normally I think I had it listed on eBay for $49.99, I think, basically. All right, yeah, so. Same? Yeah. I think, yeah. So there is no hibiscus in here. None of these, none of these flowers are anything legit. We looked yeah, at them just to double check. Yeah, They're all yeah. very just like stylized. Quantity one, no skin, okay. And uh, shipping, Calculate like them for me. My zip code, I put that in. Yep. Okay, so like your processing time, one business day. All right, cool. Yep. Yeah, yeah that, that price looks good. I was just checking other uh, Etsy listings. Okay, okay wait. Oh, I'm gonna wait. It's about 10 hours. 
All right. So I'll see. And I'll yeah, I, I do wrong spellings too sometimes, Mary. It just kind of depends on the item. Like my prime example is when Dale Earnhardt Sr. passed away. If you spelled Earnhardt 13 different ways, you would come up with listings, all 13 misspellings. So uh, back then, if you had some Dale Earnhardt stuff, I would have worked in some misspellings too. Now, um, this bag is like an eight by 10 bag. So I all right, so eight by 10 by one. By one? Okay, because that's what I'm going to do. One. Okay. Yeah, that's good. Kelly, Kelly uh, as soon as she lists something on Etsy, she shares it on her Pinterest Etsy board. Oops. Awesome. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> yeah, eight thousand one hundred and one inches. The tag well, didn't work for some reason. That's I don't why know. mom got the warning. Oh no! <laughs> uh, now, now the length should be the largest dimension. Okay, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. So it's ten by eight. Uh, so see, they are a little finicky. Yeah, they are. Any, other, any of the modern platforms, they get it. Okay. All right. Okay. And All that, right. That looks pretty good. And just publish, right? Ready yep. to rock and roll? Okay. That's it. Now, there are some more things we could do to, to drill down, and we could do some sharing. But, of course, you know, we're not going to – this is not uh, – oh, yeah. Go ahead, publish. Yep. You know, so we could spend four hours doing this. But, look. Look at that. In the last thir the last 60 minutes, Mom's listed uh, three listings on Etsy, two by herself. She's going to need to go back and edit the Marwall one a little bit yeah. to add some okay. bonus keywords. Oh, yeah. Yeah, but sure. uh, there you go. It is super duper easy. It's not for everything you sell, but you got that cool vintage piece. Typically, typically you can get more money on Etsy than you can on eBay yeah. because that is a drilled down audience who are specifically looking for things like that. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I mean, it's it definitely is easier. You got to readjust a little bit from eBay because I'm I am mainly eBay. So you know, for mom, I just got to switch things around a little. But yeah, yep. yeah. Oh, you know what I wanted to mention? Um, remember when we did managed payments? Uh, moms had to go and sign up, but I had to do it on my own kind of thing. Yep. It was very simple, everybody. I got through it very quickly. I opened up my new checking account first because I wanted to have the business account now. And um, so I opened that up, and then I got my new check so I could get my routing number and my account number. So And I did it all that online, Jason. You'd be so proud of mom. And... Uh, <laughs> And and so once I got that, then I went ahead and, fi and filled in everything I needed to fill in on the managed payments. And I got my email and they said uh, that that uh, I've been accepted. And, uh, you know, when it starts in July, I guess I'll be there. So, yeah. So that, there I, you go. that was simple, too. Mom's getting better and better. Sometimes it takes me a little longer, but, uh, you know, it's coming. OK, I, uh, I just saw something not too long ago. I think and whoever sold and that's here more, more recently. Correct me if I'm wrong. I think the label automatically comes to you. I think, you know, of course I, I don't have a ton yet on Etsy, but I'm working on it. Uh, every day I ship Amazon every day. I ship eBay and once a week I ship Macari and once a week, you know, so Etsy is a little, uh, but I think it comes to you. Uh, Chris says you also could use pirate ship. Yeah. So this is more so about getting something listed and then, and then we figure out the rest afterwards so we can do a follow-up. All right. So yeah. Yeah. Yeah, the, the shipping gets a little tricky, then maybe we need yep. to. So go. that was your. Let's, let's go back to our little fun little thing. That was your little oh. Etsy how to list. So, so yeah. what we recommend is everyone list one thing this week if you never have on Etsy, and uh, we'll share them in the thrifting board. All right. So, uh, and that's a goal. Speaking of goals, see how I did that there. <laughs> Uh, this is my good friends Thor and Melissa. They are a riot, a uh, ton of fun to be around. Uh, but they they set daily goals, something I don't do. Like mentally, I say I, I need to get all this done today, and then I get one thing done. But they actually set goals and stick to them, and their business prospers because of that. So they're very diligent about it. So I said, all right, let's, let, let's chat about that, because I think some people have a real hard time with setting goals, and I think more people have a harder time sticking to them, like yeah. me. So yeah. we're going to hear what their little tips and tricks are to the really the important part is how to stick to it, how to get to the end of the day and not be like, ah, crap. Like yeah. I've been meaning to measure. I need to order something for the office. I need to measure this wall. I mean to measure it for over a week and I still have not measured it. And I'll probably go home and forget to measure it again today. <laughs> uh, all right. And because next Sunday is father's day, Big Daddy will be back. We haven't seen Big Daddy in quite a while. So he'll yeah. be back and we'll be talking about shipping ridiculously sized things, as always. Yeah. 
we will share a little more. Yeah, mom's taking some pictures in the last couple of weeks of things we haven't shared yet. So yeah. it'll be a perfect time to share them uh, next week. So, uh, and, and we will be celebrating all dads. So uh, yep. both That's human fun. dads and fur dads. Yeah, very nice. All right. So each week we do a little fun thing. That's my mom and mama's boy. Cute and or fun and or embarrassing photos of us in our youth. So we'll start with that's my mama. Okay. Um, this Did you get weird. married more than once? Because this is not the dress you got married in. No, definitely not. This is actually a vintage wedding gown, you guys. Uh, this uh, neighbor of ours, Jason, and Mrs. Gulo, Peggy Gulo. Uh -huh. has, has you, you, you led me astray on Father's Day. Stacy says it's 621. Oh. It is? Oh, shoot. Okay. Oh, so, so that is all mom's doing because she told me next week's Father's Day. Okay. I just believe her. I believe I my mommy. <laughs> Thank you, Stacy. I always thought it was the second Saturday. Right. So we'll be back time. next week with something, but we'll let you know. We'll let you know. All right. So this, this, this uh, collection of vintage wedding gowns and dresses belonged to my neighbor, and uh, she was putting on a fashion show uh, in our town and asked me to be one of the models. Look at all that makeup you're wearing. Oh, well, I think that's just this. Well, that is. No, no. Mommy's really tan there for one thing. Because <laughs> you look, look how tan my hands are. You can see it. Um, but, uh, yeah, I just thought you guys might like to see some vintage wedding gowns. Because they were just this creepy guy leering at my mother. Yeah, I don't know who that man is. So <laughs> hey, 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 walrus mustache, look away. Yeah. You know what, Jason? I got to call uh, her daughter because she passed away. Peggy Gula passed away. And her daughter still has the collection. Maybe I need to see if she wants me to sell it for her. Oh, yeah. You know, so yeah, but I just thought you might enjoy that. Awesome. All right. For mama's boy this week, I decided to go for cute. I think I went for cute the last couple of weeks, but mom showed me a great picture. So here I am at five years old. Now I, I, I always share my dirty little secret. Yeah. I couldn't really learn how to ride a bike when you're supposed to learn how to ride a bike. I didn't get those training wheels off till I was like nine or 10. <laughs> <laughs> I, for whatever reason, couldn't stay stable. Yep. But I did want to point out something. So this is 1976. Five, five, 1975. Oh, then I'm four here. Uh, yeah, I'm four. Yeah, 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 yeah. Actually, you are four and a half. Right. Right. So I don't feel so bad. I was four. All right. Yeah. See that little, that little pine tree right there? See a little tiny pine tree? Okay. So I went to Google Maps today to the house I grew up in. There's a little tiny pine tree way above the house now. Oh, the pool's still there. Yeah. Oh my gosh. So yeah, that little tiny pine tree is now dwarfing the house. <laughs> I mean, we all understand how plants work, but yeah. it was crazy to see how tiny that sucker was right. and how big it got. Yeah. Oh yeah. That, yeah. Let's talk about that bike real quick. That banana seat and the, uh, and the uh, ape hanger bars. Woo. That's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> and yes, I learned to ride on a girl's bike. I don't want to hear nothing about it. So <laughs> my mom gave me. You mean I didn't spend $75 on a brand new Schwinn like dad did for me? <laughs> I did. Yeah. Hey, here's a used girl's bike, kid. Enjoy. <laughs> you can ride it anyway. Very nice. <laughs> All right. So mom usually gives me her score. She doesn't know I'm sharing this one because there is a funny story to this one that she oh. doesn't know about. Oh, I don't so, know. Uh, this was a uh, the miracle pop up shops uh, were pop up bars were kind of like tiki bars that popped up in places that didn't have tiki bars, but they were all cocktails based around uh, Christmas drinks. So they come in and they they decorate your bar. And so for one month, you're, you're part of the Miracle family and you do huge business. So every bar that participates, that's so crazy business. And they have tiki, mug, uh, tiki, tiki mugs. And this was a little shot. It's a mistletoe. I did want to point out that your photographer should have had the mistletoe facing this way in the opening oh. photo. It's yep. the toe, okay? Right, right. So I go to list one the other day. I go, anyone got one for sale? Oh, my mom. Uh, let's see who sells first. Well, you won for sure because mine's still sitting there. So <laughs> so, so there's mine and there's my picture. That's nice though. Your picture is really good, Jason. Yeah, but yeah. it was so funny that of all the things I saw, oh, only my mother has one. Let's see <laughs> who wins the race and she won it in a day. <laughs> so there, mom wins. I love it. Yeah. That's, cute. That's cute. Good story. All right. All right. Uh, as you, if you remember from the past, I've been selling these. Uh, 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 hang on. Yeah. Yes. I've been big girl all my life, Paul. Thank you yep. very much. That's right. That's right. Uh, mm -hmm. This is another shag uh, 
pendant that, that uh, I purchased at Ohano uh, Luau at the Lake. Uh, they had them the second year. They had them all on sale, and I bought them all for ten bucks. I bought about five or six, and I have one left now. And uh, I'm averaging between thirty-five and forty dollars on those cases. I took the best offer of thirty-five on that. So, nice. Uh, yeah. So I've been making some good money. I got like I said, I'm down to one. I only show this T-shirt, you guys, because it's just another one. I have been selling a lot of T-shirts, and they've been going out like crazy. Not big money, but I didn't remember. I did not pay big money. So this was a Hard Rock vintage one from uh, St. Thomas uh, that had a dollar price tag on it, and I sold it for the sixteen ninety-five. All right, chat. What's she missing from her title? No, oh, boy, what did I was looking at your other sold Hard Rocks, and you decided to skip this part of it on every single one. What, let's see. What do I have? Vintage Hard Rock Cafe. Uh, Stacy, if you if you got it, drop that in there. What's missing? What would you have added to this title? Yeah, what for the missing? Hard Rock Cafe St. Thomas T-shirt. Nobody, anybody, help me out. <laughs> yeah, my mom's didn't come with the original box, but mine came with the coaster. So you know, <laughs> very good, Marianne. Virgin Islands. Yeah. Oh yeah. You yeah. listed the Athens one and sold it. Is it Athens, Georgia, or Athens, Greece? I would have put both in. Yeah. You know, don't forget keywords are very. You know, oh, someone point. might not remember they were in St. Thomas, but they might remember they were in the Virgin Islands. Yeah. Very good. I got more to list. Uh, I just gave Dad a you know bad. <laughs> A batch I can't help. see my phone is blurry. <laughs> well, I'm sorry, coach. I'm very sorry. <laughs> but yeah, guitar would have been good too. Instead of putting tropical fish, you notice those fish make a guitar. Yeah, I do. I, I knew that. Yeah, that I knew. It's very cool. Okay, I, I think I just showed this, didn't I, a couple of weeks ago? This one real, very quick. I think it was this, last week, I think. Yeah, this is the vintage boat cushion, you guys, with the square knots. Yeah, it's sold right away, you guys. Uh, you know, paid a buck for it and uh, took the best offer of 60 bucks. Nice. That was yeah. Quick. yeah. Yeah. You know, nice turnaround. That was quick. Yeah. Another piece of our Native American uh, collection that, you know, little by little, it's it, the pieces are going. Uh, when we're, we're taking a lot less than what we ever anticipated we would, but, you know, we just need to, to move it. So on this particular one, you guys would have it listed for Jason, 100 and what? 75. Yeah. Well, we sold it for 95. So, right. you know, we got the offer and we just said, look, that's the first time someone's even give us a tickle. You know what I mean? And it's been listed for a long, long time now. So goodbye. It's out. And uh, this was a uh, dad had bought these. This is a Professor Hoyle's card game that he paid a dollar for. It was a complete set. And uh, we sold it for 25 bucks. Uh, I, and I like that photo. Yeah, that was pretty cool, wasn't it? He did a good yep. one on that one. Yeah. Yep. Definitely did. eye catching because it's definitely different. Yeah, for sure. Uh, yeah, I, I wish I would have kept this dress for myself. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know I, what? I was just in a tiki group, and the thread was, "What mug did you sell that you wish you had back?" <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know that's a good point. This is a Maui cotton uh, dress. Uh, it, it's a, a short dress if you see the longer picture, um, and it just it, it was a size what two X or three X, and we were just really big, but but uh, comfortable. One of those just nice flowing, easy cotton dresses just to slip on. I paid a dollar for it, guys, and sold it for the twenty two ninety five. So, you know, that was a nice sale. There's one left. It's a smaller size. It's a 2X, which I probably could wear because I gained so much weight through COVID being home. But what the hell? The COVID-19. Yeah, yeah Stacy was buying me fresh tank tops at, well, uh, the other day. I, she said, what size? I go, 4X. She goes, you're not a 4X. I go, I know. These are the laying around the house tank tops. They're supposed <laughs> to be big and billowy, not, <laughs> not you know, cut right. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. And I know I'm getting a little flack from my son on this one. But I did get a couple of different offers. Uh, okay, so we showed this last week. Yeah. And, this and, is and a cassette I didn't even know existed because yeah. this only came on a cassette, never record, never CD. The band was never around. Yeah. Mom listed it. And what'd you get for it, Ma? I ended up selling it for $90. Okay, that's pretty badass. Now, you might think, what the heck? You're giving your mom a hard time for 90 bucks. She had, she had multiple offers within the first day. I'm like, people want this. It's rare. Yeah. I think you could have got closer to like 120. Yeah, maybe so. so I mean, I don't pay 50 cents for it. So, you well, know. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I mean, hey, I'll, I'll definitely give you, uh, uh, there, there's your quarter you spent <laughs> on it. Yeah. For this CD that plays this music. And I'll give you the fireworks for the sale. It's awesome. Yeah. Okay. But I do think you left some money on the table being yeah, as rare as it was. I, I just got so excited when we get up to the $90. I, you know, mom's like, oh, Jesus, $90. So, so if you're not flipping media yet, this is a prime example. Mom sold a cassette in like a day and a half for $90. And I think she left money on the table. So yeah. 
when, when you're out there hunting, there are $600 tiki mugs. There are $100 cassettes. There are, you know, uh, if you saw Thrifty Business Thursday night, I shared four CDs. I sold over 100. I've already sold two more over 100 since then. Amazing. Uh, you know, and that's why I teach you because you're at the flea market, you're at the thrift store, you're at the garage sale. So while you're there conquering what you right. know already, right. it's time to, you know, take my classes, to watch these shows, to join the secret beach and all those things will make you a well more rounded thrifter. And so while you're there, you're like, oh, there's a $90 cassette. Oh, there's a $600 right. ticket mug, you know? So that, that's it. So they, I didn't have any, you know, a lot, of, a lot of sales this week that were bigger money. So Stacy says you're messing with our inheritance if you don't take you don't sell for more money. <laughs> There's not going to be anything left, Stacy. We're spending it all. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and you you are going to take care of me, right, Stace? <laughs> Soon. <laughs> uh, oddly enough, cassettes have made a comeback. I don't know why. I hooked up an old stereo here in my office, cassette, a track, and record. And I don't think ever in my life until two weeks ago. I've ever listened to a record, a cassette, and an A-track on the same day, on the same stereo, and you really understand why people love vinyl, yeah. and people just can't stand cassettes, because it's horrible. It's absolutely horrible, yeah. uh, but people want them. Oh, what I just sell? Come on. Let me I, I wouldn't think he would even open this cassette, though, Jason. Do you think he would open it and want it, want it to stay more valuable if he keeps it sealed? I just sold a CD. 16 bucks. See, just right. that. Nice. Uh, you know, he might want to listen to it because there's really no place to get this music. Yeah. Oftentimes, you you know, you can go right now to YouTube and listen to any ACDC song. You can right. be on Spotify and pull up ACDC songs. Uh, Primordial just ain't around. Yeah. So if he wants to hear it, the only way is he's going to have to this. What if he goes to play it and it breaks? What happens? Yeah, you're probably on the hook at that point. So. Yeah. All let's right. all let's all cross our fingers. Yeah, I know. Oh, good yeah. job. I mean, it's, it's awesome. I'm so Thank glad you. you're paying attention to music. You just turned 50 cents into $90 like that. Yeah. yeah. So that, that was very exciting for me. Very. Good job, yeah. Mom. All right. What you got? Okay. Well, uh, I do have a lot. If we don't get through it all, no, no biggie. I can save some for next week. I'm going to start with these, Jason. Uh, we found we, we had a garage sale yesterday morning, four different colors. These are sun, uh, Sunday glasses. We've got a green, a turquoise, a gold, or an amber, and kind of a pinkish. Now, the now, name why are they Sunday and not like Monday or Tuesday? Yeah, hey, hey. <laughs> Let's see if I can get the name up here. They are by Rastal, R-A-S-T-A-L, and the name is right, right there. Cool. We looked these up. We, we bought two sets, uh, uh, so two sets of the exact same colors, um, $4 a set. Okay, and we are going to list these for $35 per set. So I, I hope to turn these around. They're really quite lovely. If anybody's still using uh, Sunday glasses, right, you know, ice, uh, ice cream Sundays, uh, these are, and I, I want to tell you, they were so filthy, everybody. We really, really had to uh, do some cleaning. Dad and I both worked on those. All right. How's that coffee can? Wow. <laughs> wow, that epic. I know. Now, needless to say, I hate this guy. <laughs> If you're a Cleveland Browns fan, you'll know you'll, why. You'll fully understand it, yes. If you're a Browns yeah. fan, you'll fully yeah, If you're a Browns fan, it's known as The Drive. Yeah. <laughs> but this is a Maxwell House coffee uh, uh, a coffee can, and it's the big one. It's a three-pounder, everybody, with John Elway on it. And uh, we bought this for $1. And uh, I'm going to put this up for around $35, $40, bucks, Jason. I think it, you know, see what happens. It's, that's, that's a little bit high, you guys. But, you know, I, Mommy wants to give this a, a try. $1. $1. Okay. Look at this nice Cleveland Browns hat. It was must have been for breast cancer awareness. Wow, that's cool. Time, but it's it, you know still got the tags here. I mean, it's in view. It's brand new. I don't think they ever wore it. If they did, they might have worn it for a day. Uh, I did pay a dollar for this, and I'll probably list it between twenty and twenty-five bucks because it's in such a nice condition. One dollar. One dollar. Okay. Then I did show you some of this because I couldn't remember. Let me, let, me, let me clean the screen off while you're getting ready. All right, there we go. Uh, look at this Christmas stocking, you guys. There's no, the box. I, th I thought it was like a uh, Diana Ross wig or something. It, it almost. This this is ostrich feathers, and I have never ever seen a Christmas stocking that was crazy. That, that big ostrich feather because they're not they're not cheap. You know, the ostrich feathers are, are an expensive item. So I picked this up for a uh, dollar, you guys. I'm gonna put this up between around 30, 35 bucks on the Christmas stock. Okay. All right. Okay. We're going to go over to here. 
All right. By the way, the CD uh, it didn't sell for a ton that I that I just sold, but it was listed on Amazon for like two years and it's been on eBay for three days. So oh, wow. people always say this you can sell on Amazon. Yes, I can. I'm not going to apologize for that because I oh. can't. But mm. but two years, I moved it over. Boom, sells on eBay. So yeah. you can sell on eBay just as well as you can sell on Amazon. Yeah. Back right. to you. Uh, here's a cute watercolor that I picked up. Oh, it got to be fuzzy now. Oh, no. Do I have to re redo? I mean, we can kind of get the gist. It's a cute little yeah. kid. Uh, it's a watercolor, and it's done by a, a, a gal by the name of Joy Bergsma. We looked her up, found her, and everything. And I paid $1 for this, and we're going to list this picture for around 45 bucks, you guys. Um, she's a pretty well-known artist, apparently. So, you know, I didn't know that. Now. I was going to maybe pass this on to somebody when I found out how much it might be worth if I changed my mind. <laughs> oh, hey, wait a minute. All right. Why don't you leave, okay. refresh, and then come back real quick? Right. I certainly will. If okay. you're new, my mom lives in the country, yeah. and her choice of internet is her highest speed is lower than the lowest speed option that we have here in Vegas. It's awful, and she has one choice. So when she goes fuzzy, we ask her to leave, do a quick refresh, come back. Sometimes it works. Sometimes it doesn't. I do appreciate your patience. And let's see if it worked. Yeah, let's see. Mm, yeah, you look better. Yay. All right, no, Quickly, okay. go. You, mean go. You, can, you can see all my age lines? Come on, go, quick. Let's go. All right, all right. All right. So anyways, this, <laughs> we, had, we, we were trying to identify the artist. And it took us a while. We finally put the loop on, and we were able to come up with the initials. And it was it's uh, W M M M M O N I N E R. And uh, this is an actual painting. It's an oil painting. And uh, I mean, if you really want it, I would send this on to you, honey. Um, but but we're going to list this for around eighty bucks. All right. So the one on the right looks like Fizbo. So let's see who knows who Fizbo is. I don't even know who Fizbo is. You should. You have watched every episode of the show he's in. I'm pretty sure. Oh, you're kidding. He watched 11 seasons of the show he's in. The Golden Girls. Is there a clown called Fizbo in the Golden there Girls? A, there was a clown in one of the episodes, but I don't know what his name was. Uh, did the Golden Girls last 11 seasons? No, uh, they lasted a long time. Eight, maybe? I don't I really Yeah, don't. there you go. The whole the whole clan knows. Modern Family. Modern oh, Family. I never watched that show. Oh, that you did? What? What? Oh, my God. What the best show? I've never oh. watched Modern Family. So how much is that worth? Uh, this is around 70, 80 bucks. And the squirrels are tired again. All right, that's pretty cool. Yeah, do not send that to me if you can get $80 for it. All right, I will see. If it's not, you know, it'll come to you. Okay, then we had a house that had a lot of Cleveland Browns uh, stuff and all brand new, okay? This yes, is the answer is Trent Lott, of course. <laughs> hang, uh, hang on, I got, I got some Trent for you. There it okay. is. There's Trent. All right. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. So this is a throwback Cleveland Browns football um, uh, uh, sweatshirt. And as you can see, new with tags, you guys. Wow. Yeah. And it's a gorgeous. I mean, Jason, I don't even know if I should sell this. Uh, I did spend $10 on these and I'll probably list it for around $40.45 because it's, it's it's just gorgeous. I just love it. Like I said, mommy might, might need a new one for just mom. <laughs> so it's a good question. While mom's pulling up the next thing, Robert says, what about using eBay mark boxes and tape and such? And we saw other platforms. I do. I do all the time. It's pretty much only tape I use. So yeah, everyone's getting the eBay tape. Okay. This is a three X Mayfield Jersey. Okay. Yeah. I like it. Would you like it? It's a three X. No. no, no. You sure? Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. So I'm, I will probably listen to those. It's tough watching football on the West coast at 10 AM. Uh, that's true. That's you true. know, you go to a, you go to a bar, you get some breakfast, mm -hmm. you get a mimosa. Next thing you know, it's three beers later, and you're mm -hmm. you're drunk by eleven thirty a.m. So, uh, yeah, so three x you guys, <clears throat> and I will list. They pay ten bucks for it, and I will probably list that for around forty forty five dollars. And this is the same thing for again for for Mayfield in the wow. Brown. Well, I know. Was this a garage sale? At a garage sale, two, this is a two x, and again around the same price. So I, I picked the big sizes, as you can see. This is crazy. Yeah. Yeah, because Jason, I, I didn't show this last week, did I? No. No, I didn't think so. I, I thought I passed up. All right, so I picked up this uh, metal waste basket, you guys. You know, I'm always always looking for these, and I loved it because it was fishing lures, something different, and it's a tall one. 
And it's not yeah, the, that's a big ass trash can. Pretty rusty indoors because they were using it as a you know just a junk container with switching gear in it. When I saw it on their on their table, and uh, but I, I I'm going to list this for around thirty five bucks because this this is a nice one. Very different, very different. I, I would think a fisherman would would jump on that. You know what I mean? Oh heck yeah, you can use Amazon boxes to ship eBay stuff. Look, the average buyer does not. If your box shows up solid and in one piece, the average buyer will not even remember what your box looked like. They won't. So use okay. what you got. Um, I picked up the whole set only because of Debbie. <laughs> I don't think she's in the chat tonight, is she? No, they're uh they're in Reno right now. Okay. Um, it's the uh, full set of Charlie Brown's Cyclopedia, uh, one through fifteen uh, nice. of the editions. And in doing my research, I've only paid two bucks for all fifteen of these things. Uh, and these go for around thirty thirty five dollars. Okay. Nice. I like it. Yeah. So that was kind of cool. Um, hold on, hold on. Let me get over here. Okay, of course, there can't be a week go by when I don't have something big. <laughs> What's coming, folks? Is it going to be TV trays or uh, lawn chairs? Okay, this is my backyard expressions. Let's see how I can show this to you guys. It's a oh, wing a sitting all... hammock, yeah, a sitting hammock. See if you can see it all. I don't know. There's a cushion. Oh, yeah, very yeah. nice. Yeah, we paid seven dollars for this and we were going to list it for $51.99. Brand new, brand new. Okay. Garage, sales, garage sales are treating you well. Oh, I know. Yeah, we were so excited when we came home. We said, oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. All right, how are we doing on time? All right, we'll, do, we'll make this the last one. I'll save the other pieces for next week. All right, cool. This up because it was a buck. It's a cute Christmas dress shift. Nothing fancy any about it, you guys. But I am going to list this for what I did on my research. For around $14.95. So nice. Not, but it's just, you know, something cute. Something cute. You didn't find no music this week? Uh, I did, but you know, oh yeah, I I do. Let me let me show this. Well, then on that because now that you got the taste, you better be finding every week because I know what's out there. The, uh, this one here, Jason. This is the one that that seemed to bring a little more than five or six dollars. You know what I we mean? Can't, we can't see what it says. Oh, okay. It's on the first day of Christmas, uh, and and then it's Andy Williams, Julie Andrews, Vicky Carr, Anthony Newley, and others. So it's a partridge in the pear tree. Okay. Okay, and this one is there selling maybe twelve, fourteen dollars somewhere in there. And I picked up these other two because these were only ten cents a piece, and I was just grabbing. I wasn't taking time to look, and I thought maybe New Kids on the Block would be something good. But is it the sealed or is it used? Uh, it's it's used. It's used. Yeah, it, I yeah. mean, it, it because here's the problem. I mean, someone might want on cassette, but it it became a budget title, so you can buy it on CD new for like six ninety nine. Yeah, okay. And then I picked up this tone low, but that isn't worth anything either. No, nah, but that's a good one. Like if you pick up some more like eighties uh, rap, okay, that would be good to pull whether it was tone well, early nineties, okay. late eighties, yeah. early nineties. Yeah, that, like that would be that'd be a good part of a grouping of hip hop yeah. cassettes. I mean, in ten cents worth. I, I oh, I did pick this up for myself. <laughs> He, he somehow I see he does he does do oh this thing I don't know how I, I forget how it make him go punch him oh wait wait it did go hit him where is he damn <laughs> I know you I know you he, he, punch he, him he, hard yeah <laughs> Play him on the ground drop drop the people's elbow on him hey I can't get him to go he does sing and dance mainly clicky mock up once right. I have to figure it out again. But, you know, if I was going to keep them, uh, I don't know if I'll sell them. I'll look them up. I haven't even had time to look them up. So we'll end on this guy. Okay. Uh, Jackie's interested in your trash can. She is. Okay. All right. All right, Jackie. So if you can find my mom, message her on uh, Facebook. If not, I'm yeah. way more visible and easier to spot. So message me, and then yeah. I will connect you with my mom. <clears throat> I mean, we will do it. Everyone's saying pinch his hands or feet. I, I that's what I tried. I tried the hands, and that's what made him kind of move. Yeah, but it's, yeah, nothing, guys. Not at the moment, anyways. And Try the feet. Try the feet. Feet. Because when when I hit him by accident, he just started going like crazy. I know. How'd you? Yeah. I I don't know that's what happened. So weird that you made well, him maybe, kind of start. maybe it needs new batteries. You know what that I mean? That could be it too. Yeah. So I'll put new batteries in them. And see if we get him to move next week. He's really cute, though. He wiggles and jiggles. <laughs> uh, yeah, I got to come up with a, the cocktail for the next Secret Beach uh, cocktail party. 
This one will be a little more intricate. We've done some easy ones, and the first two had a lot of the same ingredients, but we are going to do one a little more, a little more flavorful. But you're going to have to buy some more stuff. Oh if boy, you want to join along. So I will. Uh, time. <laughs> yeah. I, yeah. You know, did I tell you I could not even find Cruzan rum at a couple of my grocery stores that have? Well, rum. you do live in Ohio, and that I you know. know. I know. It's like yeah. your internet. Your choices are pretty slim. Yeah, I had my pot of pure again last night. I like that drink. It's very refreshing. I think it's because of the lemon juice in that one, Jason. Yep. yep. Yeah, very good cocktail. All right. So that All is right. another episode. I want everyone to go list on Etsy. I will start a post uh, tonight. Stace, make me do it. Uh, and then we'll get mom's, uh, one of her listings in there. I'll put my mug in there. And then everyone else uh, put a, a listing. And, and let's do a fresh one. That's the whole point, uh, you know, trying to get people to do these. So if you're already on Etsy, that's great. But don't put in, don't don't pop in a listing you've had up for two months. Pop in something fresh. Yeah. Go put something fresh up. And then again, hey, don't forget when we do these kind of things. If you see something you like, buy it. How about your fellow seller? Yeah. You know that's you know people like to look, but man, if you find something good, buy it. Yeah, just make us an offer. You know. That's yeah, sure. uh, Mary wants you to drag your butt to Michigan. That's not real close, unfortunately, Mary. Well, well we're in Michigan. If it's near a tiki bar, I might come. <laughs> <laughs> I think you're talking about buying liquor. <laughs> but yeah, Michigan ain't real close. Uh, yeah. Someone was very nice to send me an estate sale the other day. However, it was north of Reno. I'm like, yeah, that's seven Ooh. hours. No, ouch, ouch, ouch. Yeah. 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 Nevada's a giant state. <laughs> All right. Yes. Give us some thumbs up. I totally forgot. I, I forgot to put the little thing up. Uh, Thanks, everybody. There we go. And right here, give us a big old thumbs up. Oops. Get that, get that banner out of the way. And then if you've not subscribed before, subscribe to us right about here. And make sure you click the bell. It lets you know when we're going live. And we are here every Sunday at 7 p.m. East Coast. And Thrifty Business is on Thursday at 8 o'clock East Coast. And then we have other things from time to time where we pop in. So that's it for now. We will be doing the Father's Day episode in two weeks. Thanks a lot, Mom. Uh, <laughs> I would, why would I question my mother? She said it's next week. I believed her. Yeah, I thought for sure it was. And then I'm like, oh, crap. I haven't said anything yet. All right. Yeah. <laughs> I've got two weeks. <laughs> uh, we'll, we'll definitely do something else next week. So uh, we'll see you all back here a week from today. See you on Thursday night for How to Stick to Your Goals. That is a show we all need. Yeah. Every one of us for sure. needs How to Stick to Your Goals. All right, everybody. Have a wonderful Sunday evening. Have a great week. And go over to the thrifting board and pop in your Etsy listing. Yeah. For selling past your expiration date, being thrifty or 50, I'm Jay. I'm Peg. Bye, everybody. Thanks so much for watching. And we're gone. Bye-bye.